Welcome to XXLRC. Today we're going to work on a little bit different project. Unfortunately, we're not going to be running any cars, but we are doing car related stuff. Uh, I think this is a, a common problem amongst people in the hobby. I've seen it mentioned uh, a few times in some of the Facebook groups, and that is car storage. Seems like, you know, once you get so far in, uh, in, in this very addicting hobby, you start to run out of space to put cars and that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm trying to get my space set up and I just don't have anywhere to put these things. So this uh, storage unit right here behind me used to be on the wall over there. And I think this wall space is gonna be a perfect spot for me to build some racks to hold some cars. We'll get them up off the ground Everything will be stacked up here, kind of out of the way, and it's going to be really good. I just wanted to do a quick video to share with everybody. Uh, I don't know if it's the best way, but it's definitely the best way that I've found to store those cars up and out of the way. And I'll show you what I did over here on the back of my workbench. This is pretty much the same thing that we're going to do on the wall over there. Really simple. 2x4 in the back, 4x4 four is screwed to that, and then these 2x4s will get screwed to the wall. I prefer to use the 4x4s. Uh, four four you could use 2x4s. I actually built another rack one time. I, I didn't use the 4x4s. Four four I just attached 2x4s on, on either side of that back 2x4. And that worked fine, but then you end up with a wider base. So... Some of these cars that don't have a long wheelbase, like for instance this TRX-6, it, you'd be really cutting it close if you had, you know, another two inches on either side. So that's why I prefer to use the 4x4s. The hardest part so far with this project is just figuring out, you know, what height you want everything to be at. So I'm going to start with my larger scale stuff. So I've got two of my X maxes here. I've been kind of playing around with those, figuring out, you know, how far apart they need to be on the rack. So once you've got that part figured out, you can start cutting your four by fours to the width that you need, screwing them to the two by four. And this project's going to be done before you know it. And you're going to have nice, neat storage and so much extra space to work in because look <laughs> now it, this is kind of exceptional right now because like I said we're moving things around so stuff is just stacked up in the corner here but once I can start organizing the cars everything else is going to fall into place. I've got a couple of the shelves cut here and I just attached them with these three and a half inch uh, wood screws see I just put like five of them in the back one in the middle and then one in each corner We're gonna do a test fit here before we start cutting any more <laughs> That way we don't end up at the end of the day with trucks that don't fit so. So I'm just holding this thing against the wall. I didn't want to screw it down until I get all the shelves, but yeah, look at that Up off the ground it like just barely fits in there, but that's what I really wanted. I want to maximize the space here. So now that I know that's good, I can set another one up here. Yeah, that's that's gonna work out really nice. Really happy with how that's this is turning out. Everything fits nice. I'm gonna have another shelf, you know, another 10 inches up right over top of this one. And uh, just keep going until I run out of room on this one. And then we'll build another one for over here.
Okay, I've got all my shelves adjusted to the height that I want. Everything's screwed together. Now we're ready to put it on the wall. I've just kind of got it propped up there uh, so I can get it level and get everything marked up. And then I can start drilling the pilot holes and we can screw this to the wall. Now what I'm going to use are these Tapcon quarter inch by two and three quarter inch screws. That'll give us enough to get through the two by four and into the, the concrete block. The nice thing about the tap cons, if you get the bigger box like that, it actually comes with a uh, masonry bit. These are made to go into concrete, uh, cement, you know, all that harder material. That's what these screws are made for, so they give you the bit. And then I'm also going to be using my DeWalt hammer drill. That'll make light work of drilling into those concrete blocks. So I've got a line marked on the wall, right where I want the top of it. I've kind of got it leveled out. I may have moved it around a little bit, but I at least want to get the top you know, tacked into the wall here. And then I can level it back out again. We'll get the bottom, and then we'll just throw a few more screws in in between each shelf. So I'm gonna start up at the top here. I think I'm gonna, see we're working with, we're kind of like in the middle. There's a seam right there. So I'm gonna go on either side of this. I don't wanna go right in the middle because then we'll either be drilling in a mortar or right in the middle of a center block. Now I got my pilot hole drilled right through the 2x4 and into that center block behind. I grab my other drill. And actually these tap cons come with the, the bit as well that fit the, the heads of these screws. So it just it literally comes with everything that you need. And we'll go ahead and pop that tap con in there. <laughs> be good so like I said now that I got the top in there I'll let the uh, let my little prop go and then I can you know adjust this whichever way side to side to make it level the wall I think it's pretty good I might put something down at the bottom just as you know a little extra because I am gonna be putting some heavy cars on here but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this thing and load it up and see what it looks like <laughs> Wow, I think it turned out great. You know, I was, <laughs> even though I checked it like a bunch of times, I was still worried that the exoduses weren't gonna fit in between. But as you can see, uh, it's very tight, but they do fit. So, uh, one thing that I changed from the original design that I did on my, um, over on my workbench, I made these just a little bit longer. They were 12 inches over there. I made them 15. And that's so, I can set the controller in front of each one. So now I can keep track of all my controllers. 
I know a lot of people use like a Spectrum or you know something that can handle a bunch of models. I, I know that the uh, the Traxxas ones can uh, work for a bunch of different models too but I've just always had one controller for one truck. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did hit that like button down below or leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. I go through and I read all the comments. I try to respond back when I can. If you guys haven't done so already, or this is your first time being on my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video.